In-ground pools and market value, will they increase them or will they not? That's the topic of my next video. Will installing an in-ground pool increase the market value of your property? That's the topic of this video. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes right here in Long Island, New York. Spring is not too far away and then we're into the heat of the summer. Well, should you get that pool? Are you gonna get the return on your investment? Maybe not so much financially, but you could be getting a significant reward with family time. Let's break it down a little. What are some of the things you need to know? Well, when you're considering are you going to get the financial return, number one is do other properties in your area have pools? What percent? 50%, 75%, 10%? Are you the only house in the neighborhood with a pool? Those are definitely things to consider. If 50% of the properties have pools and they're all selling at a regular basis, then you know the buyer pool has people that are looking for pools in their backyard. So definitely consider how many houses in the area have pools doesn't mean you can't be the first one but it's something to consider on the resale part of it two do you live in a warm climate hey if you live in florida most likely you're going to have a pool and you should have a pool because the houses without a pool probably will be a little harder to sell again doesn't mean they can't but it would be a little harder because most of the buyer pool is probably looking for an in-ground pool in their backyard if they live in a very warm climate the next thing, when, you, when do you plan to sell? If you buy a house and you say, in 20 years I'm going to sell and I have this pool, well, 20 years from now, that pool is now 20 years old. So if other people are installing pools that are newer, then that could be problematic because the Mr. Buyer is going to say, well, your pool is 20 years older than the pool down the block with a house that's for sale. So I think I'm going to go with that property over yours. So you might have to reduce your price a little in order to get the buyer to make it attractive to them. And another thing to consider, even if the market value went up slightly, you got to realize you had carrying costs. You had to pay for Definitely the install, and if you finance it, you have to pay all that interest over the 15 or 5 or 20 years, whatever that interest rate was, and how long that loan was for. And you also had to pay for the upkeep. You had to pay for the energy, for the pump. If you have a heater, you had to pay for the energy for that. Maintenance on the pool, the insurance, your liability insurance definitely will go up, and you should definitely up your liability insurance uh, if you get a pool, because there you are, do have a greater risk that's going on. So... All in all, is it worth it? It's totally up to you. If you think that you're going to get much more family time, I know as somebody who has older kids, if I had a pool at one time, that might have been the center where all my um, kids' friends wanted to hang out and socialize because we would have had a pool. But some developments, particularly out here on the island, have community pools. So you got to weigh the pros and the cons. If, in fact, there's a community pool and it'll have all the expenses and you can meet with your family and everything else at these pools, is it really worth the extra investment? Totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. And this is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes. Thanks again for watching.